Happy Sunday, everyone. I am here to do a weekly creative tarot poll for your creative art. This is a new thing for this channel. Um, I don't, I haven't done a lot of tarot readings on this channel, so uh, bear with me as this is my first one. But I have been using tarot cards for a little over a year now, and I really find a lot of fun in using tarot for my creativity, my hobbies. I'm a clay artist, so I pull a lot of imagery and a lot of creative energy from the cards, and I find it a really fun aspect to add something new to um, anything creative that you're doing, whether it's jewelry, whether it's writing, whether it's clay art, whether it's pottery, whether it's just some creative hobby. I mean, even crocheting, you can totally find creativity in uh, in tarot and oracle cards. So anyways, we're going to be using the garden dragon deck because it's a really fun little dragon deck full of lots of creative energy. I mean, these cards are just so, so cute and so inspiring, you know, especially for my kind of art, but I feel like it could be inspiring for anybody's kind of art. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pull two cards for this week. And these cards are going to be what I encourage you and challenge you to use for your creativity. I want to see you use these for your creative art, for whatever you're working on, you know, whether you're writing a book, I want to see how you put it together in a book. If you're writing a poem, let's see how you put it together in a poem. If you're creating pottery, let's see how you can put it together in pottery. You know, the whole idea is to just use a different kind of energy to get you going, to create that muse effect for you, all right? So let's see what we can find out. I had a lot of fun doing this for my own creativity, especially with this deck, because I tried it out a couple days ago, and I thought this was, deck was just going to be perfect for it, all right? All right, so let's see what we can find out. Let's see. First card we're going to pull up is going to be this one, and then we are going to take, looks like that one, all right. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, so first up we have the Pepper Dragon cute little dragon, right? <clears throat> and then the second one is going to be the tea dragon. Excuse me while I get a drink. All right. <clears throat> now these guys are fun. Like the art on these guys are super, 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 super fun. And since they're an oracle deck, they don't read like other, you know, other decks do. And this one in particular, because it's more like a field guide for dragons and so it's really fun inside this deck because it's got the description it's got the uh like what they what they look like in the garden how you can find them in the garden those kind of things all right and then it also has the little mystical meaning and the book is really fun i love reading out of the book okay all right so let's see what this dragon has to offer us for our creative energy this week All right, three heads are better than one when it comes to changing with the times. The pepper dragon sports heads of different colors, so you are reminded of being adaptable. Versatility is the name of the game. The current situation requires flexibility. Be prepared to be whoever is needed. Just like some dishes require a hot pepper and some require a sweet, your best weapon is to bend to the oncoming winds. There are times to stand tough and hold your ground, but the pepper dragon teaches us that a willow bends while an oak breaks. All right, so here's what we're going to pull out of this card. Like When you're using stuff like this for creative energy, what you want to do is you want to pull the ideas and the musings from it. So you have green and you have red, so you can take colorings from this card, okay? You have flowers, you can take the idea of flowers. You have peppers. If, if you are a food person, you can use this in your creative art. I mean, if you, have a, if you have a character, maybe her favorite thing is peppers, or maybe she's allergic to peppers, you know? Um, if you have a character, maybe uh, uh, like crocheting or something like that, maybe green and red and yellow is the kind of thing you wanna add to it, or maybe you wanna even add a little a uh, little bit of flowers to it and stuff like that. Or if you wanted, you can take the pepper as a whole and make a pepper. You can do that in clay. You can do that in pottery. You can add it to cups. You can add it to whatever you want. But the whole idea of this card is going to be being adaptable and use and taking that creativity in a, in a more adaptable way and applying it to all different things rather than just one thing. All right, and then the other one that's up is 
the tea dragon. The tea dragon is one of my favorite dragons. I think it's one of the funner dragons. But then again, I like tea. So let's see what this one has for us. Let's see. Sorry, it's taking just a second here. I have to find it in the book. All right, it does not want to do it one-handed. There it is, tea dragon, all right? Now the big thing on this one is to relax. All right, what's your hurry right now? If you are feeling anxious or rushed, it's time to make time for yourself. The tea dragon reminds you that you should relax with a nice cup of this lizard's namesake. In preparing the tea, breathe through the time it takes to boil the water. Then perhaps you could sit quietly for the steeping time. As you drink in the hot liquid, remind yourself that it is a gift you give to others when you relax. You can deal with the stressors of the world better by indulging in your very own tea ceremony. So with this card, you can get a lot from this card. Like you could take the greens from this card. You can take the cuteness from this card. You can take the little bee that's sitting over here from this card, the flowers. Like this card has a lot going on creativity wise in it. Um, I really like the green aspects, the green and light browns. There's even the moon in the background. I mean, you, there's a lot you could take from this. If you have a favorite kind of tea, you can totally use that in your art. You can crochet a tea bag. You can crochet a little holder for tea. You can have one of your characters, if you're writing, um, either be allergic to tea or enjoy tea. Um, or maybe they're having their own tea ceremony and that's how they meet someone. You can create a dragon that is related to your favorite tea out of pottery or polymer clay or modeling clay, or you can even draw it for yourself, you know, and using this card as some kind of inspiration to, you know, get the eye right. Or, you know, you don't want to copy the same art that's in the card because that's not okay. But you can draw inspiration from the coloring. You can draw inspirations from the ideas that are inside the card and use that energy to pull it into your own creative art. All right, so that's this week's creativity. And I think the tea dragon is also telling you to just sit down, have a cup of tea, and think about it too. All right, you guys have a great Sunday.